Welcome to Marketing Mistakes and How to Avoid Them, a weekly podcast hosted by Stacy Jones, the CEO and founder of Los Angeles Entertainment Marketing Agency, Hollywood Brand. Join Stacy and learn from her 20 years of experience as she shares top-notch advice on marketing best practices for brands and walks you through how to leverage entertainment content and influencer partnerships to increase your brand's overall consumer engagement and most importantly, your sales. And now, here's your host, Stacy Jones. Welcome to another episode of Marketing Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. I'm Stacey Jones, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of the Olympic Celebrity Endorsement Partnerships that were launched during the 2018 Winter Olympic Games. Brands love to use athlete star power to showcase their sponsorships, but when the Olympics starts, there's a blackout period where non-sponsors typically can't use Olympic athletes in their advertising campaigns. Why? Well, for some reason, those sponsors who are paying $100 plus million to the Olympics every four years They want the ability to stand out and have exclusivity without brands muddying the waters, and you can't really blame them. Those brands are typically some pretty big names too, like Toyota, United Airlines, Alibaba, GE, and Visa. This year, we saw the loss of McDonald's as a sponsor, which is as a brand known for capitalizing on Olympic athletes in their commercials, which means athletes who partner with official sponsors can make some extra really big bucks, but all those others must wait until the Olympics are over to create their own partnerships with non-sponsors. The Olympics are a prime advertising ground for brands, as people typically tune in during prime time, this year with over 22 million people on average in the first week alone. So let's talk about some of these partnerships we saw on TV during the Olympics this year. The first was Coca-Cola with Yuna Kim and the very famous Korean actor Park Bo Gum. As a sponsor of the Olympics since 1928, Coca-Cola is one of those brands who's figured out how to leverage its partnerships, and that usually means celebrities too. This year, its theme is Together as One, and they ran TV commercials featuring both the South Korean figure skater Yuna Kim and their very popular actor Park Go Gum. This was run in South Korea primarily, and Park Bo Gum held the Olympic torch in January 2018 ahead of the Winter Games in Pyeongchang as part of the commercial shoot. A brand that eh, kind of slips through the cracks here, and it totally goes back on what I just said about that whole blackout period, Dunkin' Donuts ran their commercial with Megan Dugan. And you just have to say there's always an exception to those who don't necessarily follow the rules of blackout dates. Dunkin' Donuts is the official coffee of the NHL, and it is NHL season here in the States right now. And they brought out their year-old spot out of retirement to run it alongside the Olympics as Megan Dugan stars in it. And Megan is an ice hockey forward who represented the United States at both the 2010 and 2014 Winter Olympics as well, where she won two silver medals. And since the Women's USA team just won the gold this year, Dunkin' Donuts did the smart thing by re-promoting this partnership, maybe through some hazy lines. Their spot is called Brewed for This, and the commercial description is, as the official coffee of the NHL, Dunkin' Donuts is brewed for all the moments that make hockey unlike any other sport, Early mornings, hard work, game time, Dunkin' Donuts is brewed for this. The next brand we're going to talk about is Procter & Gamble. P&G continues its Thank You Mom Olympics campaign with a series of six ads showing athletes' struggles with prejudices, and they featured Gus Kenworthy, one of the first openly gay action sports athletes at the Olympics. And they also featured Emirati figure skater Zara Lari, amongst others. In the commercial... Their description is PNG athlete and silver medalist free skier Gus Kenworthy is happier and skiing better than ever since coming out as gay. With his mom and number one fan, Pip, cheering him on, he is competing in this year's Olympic Winter Games in Pyeongchang. Pip has always been both supportive of and inspired by her son's courage to be himself, love who he loves, and challenge the biases of others. Watch more Love Over Bias stories at and their website. Thank you, Mom. Another brand harnessing Olympics is Toyota. They featured their good odds spot, where their commercial said, the odds of winning a Paralympic gold medal are almost 1 billion to 1. This film follows the journey of Lauren Wolskencroft, who beat the odds to win eight Paralympic gold medals. At Toyota, we believe when we are free to move, anything is possible. 
so we're on a mission to make movement better for everyone. The commercial is an absolute tearjerker. Their other spot, titled Thin Ice, has this description. When you're dancing on thin ice, every jump is a leap of faith. This film follows the story of Team Toyota athlete Ashley Wagner, a figure skater who overcame the traumatic effects of six concussions to win an Olympic medal. At Toyota, we believe when we are free to move, anything is possible. So we're on a mission to make movement better for everyone. And then there's Samsung. In their ad using two Dutch skaters, Samsung has the duo wearing its smart suits for training. The suits help with posture for speed. The commercial's description is Samsung smart suit is the first short track suit that measures down to the millimeter how deep the skater is. Is this the secret weapon for those on the way to Olympic gold? As their sponsor, Samsung Benelux developed the Samsung smart suit and the application especially for the two in the run-up to the Olympic Winter Games in Pyeongchang. This is a unique new form of sponsorship. With the help of technological innovation, the brand actively contributes to the performance of athletes. The link with sports is not new to Samsung. Samsung has been the main sponsor of the Olympic Games for 29 years. And then there's United Airlines with their They Can Fly spot. The commercial's description is U.S. Olympians Aaron Hamlin, J.R. Selsky, and Nico Landros are all masters of their craft and ready to represent the United States of America at the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. But as awesome as these Olympians are, they can't actually fly. They need some help from the heroes at United Airlines to get them off the ground and in South Korea in time for the Games. And another spot, which said, Helping superheroes fly for 38 years, proud to fly Team USA. Visa utilized a host of Olympic athletes, and they officially showcased and support 54 athletes through their sponsorships, promoting contactless cards and wearable payment devices. In their Finding New Finishes campaign, the commercial says, You keep finding new finish lines. We keep helping you cross them, like the incredible athletes of Team Visa. We believe in exploring what's possible and pushing past the expected. We're inspired by those who treat every finish line like a new starting line and see every opportunity as a chance to prove that we can all do more and be more than we ever thought. Check out Visa.com for more on Team Visa and to learn how we'll reset finish lines through our innovative new ways to pay at the Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018. Visa, the official payments technology partner of the Olympic Games. Our Team Visa athletes featured here include Mark McCormis, Michaela Schifrin, Sung Hai Park, Sarah Takanashi, Chloe Kim, and the athletes of the Nigerian women's bobsled team. So those are some really powerful, really great ads that these brands created. And they certainly aired them throughout the games and beyond. And whether you want to work with either supersized influencers or actual celebrities, brands benefit from smart partnerships leveraging the consumer fan base of the individuals they hire to become spokespeople in their commercial ads. But if you don't want to commit hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars for that celebrity spokesperson, and brands take note, and brands please take note, if you're not going to be running a national advertising campaign, you really should look at other options. Celebrity endorsement fees are very high if you can't take advantage of them fully. Then start looking for other options to appear with celebrities without the monumental costs. The easiest way to share the limelight with a celebrity is going to be through sponsorships of events that celebrities attend, and where you can get photos to share throughout your website, your social media platforms, and distribute out to media outlets. How do you do this? You're probably going to want to work with an entertainment marketing agency that has established contacts with talent directly, as well as their talent, their management, their PR, and talent agencies who are more aware of celebrity events that occur year-round. Working with a company that actually has experience in the space is going to help you get the results you want. Make sure you stop by hollywoodbranded.com to look at our library, which has infographics, white papers, ebooks, and videos, or our blog, blog.hollywoodbranded.com, which has hundreds of helpful hints on how to make brand influencer and entertainment content partnerships a success from the get-go. Also, while you're there, make sure you download our agency's event calendar to see what upcoming events may be around prime branding times for your company, too. That's it for this episode. I hope it was helpful, and please let me know if you have any feedback. I'll see you next week. And as always, if you need a little or a lot of help, my agency, Hollywood Branded, is here to lend a hand. If you'd leave a review or any questions I can address in the future, I'd really appreciate it, as your feedback helps me know my advice is valuable and interesting to you. Are you ready to make the magic of product placement, celebrity event activations, or influencer partnerships help your sales? Visit HollywoodBranded.com to gain access to free content to learn which key tactics best fit your brand. You'll find surveys, webinars, daily blogs, ebooks, and guides, 
all created to make sure you have access to the best possible marketing practices. Don't forget to join Stacy Jones for our next podcast conversation about marketing mistakes and how to avoid them. Let's make that entertainment marketing magic happen for you.